Hello, this is Timothy Perfect from Two Canoe Software, and I want to talk to you about a new utility I wrote um, called uh, Recovery Selector that allows you to specify which recovery partition to boot into. So on modern Macs, to be able to reinstall the OS or use a product like MDS um, to install Mac OS on kind of automated fashion, um, you have to boot to recovery. And the normal way to do that is you do Command R on startup. Um, and that uh, will boot into the built-in recovery partition, or the install recovery partition on the currently selected startup disk. Um, there's actually a couple other commands that you can do. I believe it's command option R allows you to go into internet recovery in case the local partition for recovery is not there. Um, and those are, uh, you have to do very specific timing. So there's always uh, the question about how to do that in macOS before rebooting, so go into that mode. And so um, that's one of the things we've investigated. We figure out how to do that. So um, there's this great article uh, on apple.com on support.apple.com called reinstall from a mac os recovery that gives the keyboard combinations and so what a common request is how do i make those keyboard count or how do i do that keyboard combination without holding the keys to be able to do it either remotely in mac os or just be able to run it and i thought hey that'd be great if we knew the commands then we could run them and when i once i did eventually unearth these commands through um some discussions on uh, i think mds uh, an MDS issue as well as some discussion on Twitter. Um, the commands were unearthed um, and you can see the commands here. Uh, the, there's a NVRAM internet recovery mode and uh, the uh, recovery boot mode. And then, so that allows you to set those um, on the command line. It'll now boot into those modes when you reboot. So I thought that's kind of geeky. It'd be nice, nice to have a utility around it. So that's what I did. I wrote this utility called um, Recovery Selector. So this is Recovery Selector and allows you to select the Mac hard drive, the recovery drive, or the internet recovery, as well as hardware diagnostics or internet booting of the hardware diagnostics. So normally you'd have the keyboard commands to do this, but then you can just set these. And all these do is when you select them, it sets the NVRAM for you or sets that mode. And then it gives you a nice big blue button to be able to restart it. So um, let me go ahead and show you how to do that. This, this first one is just the normal Mac OS startup disk, so that's not all that interesting. So if I will click on uh, Macintosh HD recovery and I'll hit restart and I'll switch over so we can see this uh, restarting this Mac and what we're hoping it'll happen is it'll reboot into the recovery mode without having to um, hold any key combinations so you can see the keyboards there I'm not touching it And there it goes, it's booting into Mac OS. We're not sure what Mac OS yet, but it, it hopefully it very well will be the recovery partition. So while it's booting up, let me give you a kind of uh, what's happening um, under the hood. So the application, when you select it, it selects that startup disk and then it sets the mode using those NVRAM commands that I outlined. Um, so once you do that, it uh, Will then you click on restart your reboots and the mac will boot into that that mode just the one time and then the next time you reboot it'll go into uh back to whatever you had for the startup disk set so you can see here that it's takes a little bit longer to boot so that's a good indication that it's going into uh going into internet recovery or going into recovery so this is on the disk recovery not internet recovery yet there we go it's in internet re or it's in recovery now so I'll just go up and I'll restart it because we don't need to wait for it to discover anything else. And we'll go back into Mac OS and then I'll show you how it works the same uh, with internet recovery and uh, diagnostics. All right, so we're back in recovery selector. Oh, let me go switch back into uh, the overhead mode. So now if I, if I go into internet recovery, it'll boot into uh, the network if uh, the current Wi-Fi that's selected um, and boot into internet recovery. So I click on restart. All right, if you can switch overhead, you can see that it's booted into internet recovery. It's actually prompting for the uh, Wi-Fi password, but we don't care about that right now. Um, so let me boot into uh, back into Mac OS, and then I'll show you the hardware recovery. All 
Okay, the next one we'll choose on is the hardware diagnostics. So again, you just set, select hardware diagnostics and reboot. And this time, instead of booting to Mac OS recovery, um, it's gonna boot into the uh, hardware diagnostics, which is kind of a really kind of different boot mode. All right, so now it's gone in. You can't really, it's hard to see it, but it says checking your Mac, two minutes re remaining. So it's now doing a hardware test automatically, um, which is great. And so then you can go into that mode, reboot into it, and then uh, the next time you restart, it'll go into the Mac OS. All right, so those are generally the different modes that we can have. You can also set them uh, manually on the command line. So if we go into you can run the commands uh, and view RAM. Uh, so let me get to the one. Here we go. So here's the one that I was running NVRAM uh, internet recovery mode equals re recovery mode network. And so that'll that'll go onto the network and be able to uh, um, it'll be able to next time we'll reboot it'll go into internet recovery. Um, so all these different commands, yeah, of course you have to run them with uh, you have to run them with uh, root so you'd have to put in your password and now it's set to be able to do that one. You can actually read that one back and just by putting the name of it and it returns back what that mode is. So this one's recovery mode network. And you can also delete it if you do dash D. And now if you go and look at it, uh, it's still there. Oh, sorry, you have to do it as root. There we go. You can read it without root, but then you can't uh, delete it or write it. So um, that's how you would do it. And then you can just reboot or you can use the uh, a recovery selector application that does it, which basically sets those values. Um, so uh, oh, let me show you uh, if you want to get more information or download this application, just go to two canoes dot com slash recovery selector and that'll redirect to our Bitbucket site, which in the there will have information uh, about where to do it. It does list all the different keys and values as well. If you want to set those, I, I plan on fleshing that, those out a little bit. Uh, a little bit. Um, and if you want to download it, you can more than uh, more than happy, you should be more than happy to download it. The um, Or I'll be more than happy to have you download it. How's that? It is an open source project with a uh, MIT Apache style license. Um, and uh, the source is available to download as well as applications to download. So please go ahead and check it out and give me any feedback. Make sure to follow me uh, at tperfit um, on Twitter as well as check back here on YouTube to get more videos. Uh, thanks for watching and make sure to download this because it's pretty sweet.